All right, so we've created our load contact data raptor. And what we're going to do now is create a really simple integration procedure so that we can test that. But before we do that, I'm just going to go into the settings and turn off my duplicate rules. Because as I'm testing, we're probably going to create multiple copies of the same contact. So just going into the settings and then looking for duplicate rules. And then we're just going to disable the standard contact duplicate rule. Okay. Now coming back in here, we're going to click on the drop down and go into our Omni Studio integration procedures. And from there, we're just going to click on to new. And then with our integration procedure on the left hand side, we've got some available components. The first block is the group component. And then underneath that, we've got the actions components. And if we click on to the procedure configuration step up here in structure, we have the properties here on the right hand side. So we've got the name, we've also got the save button, the activate version and so on. So I'll just go ahead and give that a name. And then um, for type, we'll just go with something that's already there. And then I can give it a description if I'd like as well. So from here, I can click on save. And that will save the integration procedure. So for this integration procedure, all I'm going to show you is that load contact data raptor. And then in future videos, I'll put it all together where we match contacts and then create them as well. And then later on, if I have time, I'll put together one where we loop through new contacts as well. And that can get a little bit more tricky, but using integration procedures saves you so much time. So for this really simple one, all I'm going to do is come into the actions and we're going to find the post action here. So we're just going to click that and drag it in. And then we're going to select our data raptor interface. So just clicking on there, we've got our load contact data raptor there. And I'm just going to copy that name and give the element name the same name. Now underneath here, we've got our additional input and output. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some additional inputs. So we'll just click on add. And then these are our key and value pairs. So um, if you remember from our load contact, if we just come into our fields, we've got our first name, email and last name. So I'm just going to follow those that same naming convention there. So coming back in, we've got our F first name. And we want that to be from our form. So coming back in here, it's step one. And then this field name here. So we'll just come in and whoops, click on here. And I like to click on the actual um, expression editor button there. And we're just going to go step one, colon, and then the name of the field. And then just repeat for the others. And I've just realized that if we go back, we actually need to use this um, formula rather than the field name itself. So I'll just quickly go and fix all that up. Okay, and then just clicking on the top and go all the way down to the bottom and just click on save. Now to test that, I'm going to come back into the Omni script and we're going to preview that because we want to copy this JSON here. Okay, so I'll just provide a first name, last name and email. And then looking at this data JSON here, I'm just going to, oh, I haven't tabbed out for my email. I'm going to click on the copy button and then going back into our integration procedure, we're now going to click on preview and edit as JSON and then just paste in that JSON in there. And with my screen resolution, I do need to use my scroll bar to scroll all the way down and then click on execute. Okay. Um, now we can see on the right hand side that we've got success 
And we've also got the ID that was created. Now coming back into properties, one step I forgot to mention is that if you click onto the procedure configuration step up the top, we can click on include all actions in response. And what that means is, is that when you preview it, your response will appear in this panel here. So we can see that we've got an ID and if I copy that, and we'll just come into the URL and just after the .com, I'm just going to paste in that ID and hit enter. And that's just taken us to that new contact. So coming into details, we can see Joe blogs and the email address that I provided. Now, if I go back in and run that again, so we'll go back into preview and scroll all the way down and click on execute. We can see that response has come in there and that should be a different ID. So if I now come back into contacts and um, well, it's already in recently viewed, but you can see I've got those two contacts there for Joe Blogs. So this will continuously add that same contact over and over. Now in the next video, I'll put in the other data raptor that we created. So this one will be to check if there's already an existing contact. Um, and if there is one, match it. Otherwise, create a new one. So that'll come up in the next video, which I'll hopefully get to you within the next few days.